Fault Domain versus Update Domain Welcome to our in-depth exploration of fault and update domain. In the context of cloud computing and high availability, update domain and fault domain are important concepts used to ensure resilience and reliability. Let's explore them in detail. 1. Update Domain An update domain is a logical group of resources or hardware that are subject to maintenance and updates simultaneously. In a cloud data center, these updates can include hardware maintenance, software patches, and other infrastructure changes. The purpose of defining update domains is to minimize downtime and service disruptions when updates are applied. Key points about update domains. Grouping for updates. Azure, for example, groups its physical hardware into update domains. When updates are required, they are rolled out to one update domain at a time, ensuring that not all hardware is affected simultaneously. Reducing downtime. By applying updates to one update domain at a time, the cloud provider can minimize the impact of maintenance on the availability of services. If a virtual machine, VM, or other resource is in an update domain that's being updated, it may experience a brief interruption, but other resources in different update domains remain available. Design consideration. When designing applications for the cloud, it's essential to be aware of update domains. Distributing your application across multiple update domains can help ensure that it remains available during updates. Example scenario. Imagine an application deployed on multiple VMs, and these VMs are distributed across different update domains. When an update is applied to one update domain, VMs in that domain may briefly go offline for maintenance, but the VMs in other update domains continue to serve traffic, ensuring overall service availability. From the diagram, if you have a web app running in Azure VM as pass, then Microsoft Azure will turn off the VM1, which is an update domain zero for maintenance activity. And when the next request comes from the client, then Azure will send that request to other available VM3, which is an update domain. One to maintain the SLA. Two, fault domain. A fault domain is a logical grouping of resources or hardware that share a common power source and network switch. The purpose of defining fault domains is to enhance the resilience of applications by ensuring that resources are distributed across physically independent parts of the data center. This helps mitigate the impact of hardware failures or other localized issues. Consider a database or web server with multiple replicas. These replicas are distributed across different fault domains. If there is a network switch failure in one fault domain, the database or web server can still operate using replicas in other fault domains, ensuring uninterrupted service. Key points about fault domains. Redundancy, Azure, and many other cloud providers use fault domains to ensure that resources within the same fault domain are on separate physical hardware. This means that if there's a hardware failure, only the resources within that fault domain are affected. Enhance reliability by distributing resources across different fault domains. Cloud providers improve the reliability of services. If a network switch or power source in one fault domain fails, resources in other fault domains continue to function without interruption. Design consideration. When designing applications for the cloud, it's crucial to consider fault domains. Distributing your application across multiple fault domains can protect it from single points of failure. Example scenario, consider a database system with multiple replicas. These replicas are distributed across different fault domains. If there is a network switch failure in one fault domain, the database system can still operate using replicas in other fault domains, ensuring uninterrupted service. In summary, update domains and fault domains are mechanisms used by cloud providers to manage updates and enhance the fault tolerance and reliability of services. Understanding these concepts is essential when designing and deploying applications in cloud environments to ensure high availability and minimize service disruptions. Hey, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a bite of Azure Brilliance.